Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here. Look at this enthusiastic crowd, of course, because we are spending $37 billion in infrastructure. No wonder everyone is so enthusiastic. Actually, we're not spending, but we're investing. We're investing. Yeah, exactly. So there's a big difference in that. Exactly. First of all, I want to just say that we have a few very important people here, but everyone is important that we see today. Uh, but it's great to have all of you here today. And of course, uh, today we are here to promote our uh, infrastructure and housing bonds and also our levy bonds and all of those things. So uh, this uh, beginning of this year, in the state of the state address, I talked about how important it is uh, to rebuild California. And since our economy has turned around now and since we've created, since I've come into office, 635,000 new jobs and $20 billion in, in additional revenues, I thought this was the right time to start thinking about the future of California. And uh, so we negotiated uh, this year with Democrats and Republicans, and uh, it was really amazing to see the great performance of both of the parties, uh, because it is election year where usually people try to derail each other in the, in the capital, but uh, it was different, the atmosphere this year. Both of the parties worked together, and I want to thank the Democrats and the Republicans for accomplishing that and agreeing to a $37 billion infrastructure package. We have five very important initiatives on the ballot this November. Uh, the first one is Proposition 1A, which uh, secures and protects Proposition 42, which is transportation funding, so that the legislators and future governors can rate that uh, uh, fund. Then uh, Proposition 1B, which is transportation, we have agreed to $20 billion in this infrastructure bond uh, to rebuild our highways and build new freeways tunnels, bridges, on-ramps, off-ramps, all kinds of action we will see, and also on top of that we will repair our roads, improve bridge safety, expand public transit, and improve our port security. Uh, Proposition 1C is affordable housing. Part of the American dream is to have your own home. And we want to make sure that everyone will be able to uh, afford a home, and that this will make it possible that more people can get into the action and we have a home. And this is one of the biggest problems that California is facing is we don't have enough affordable housing. Then Proposition 1D is uh, schools. We are going to spend $10.4 billion on building additional schools, hundreds uh, of additional schools, and thousands of classrooms will be modernized. We will be also expanding community colleges and universities and build additional uh, career tech facilities in this state. So this is, uh, will be really terrific. We're also going to spend some of that money to retrofit uh, some of the school buildings and make them more earthquake safe. Then there's Proposition 1E, which provides nearly $4.1 billion, and that is to rebuild our levees. We have a levee system that is uh, more outdated and more vulnerable than the, one in, the ones in New Orleans. So of course, we're literally one uh, big storm, one earthquake away from a major disaster, which will wipe out our drinking water, so it is about time that we are committing to rebuilding our levees, and this $4.1 billion will exactly do that. And so we are very excited, we want to ask the people of California to vote yes on Proposition 1A, Proposition 1B, Proposition 1C, 1D, and 1E. So vote yes on those propositions so we can go in the spring and start rebuilding California. Because right now we have an infrastructure in the state that is meant for 20 million people, but definitely not for 37 million people. And by the time all of this is built, we most likely will be 42 million people. So I'm looking forward to get to work on this and to rebuild California, because we can then uh, live up to 100% of our potential, especially like with infrastructure and transportation, as you all know, how fast we move people and goods around is the economic power. And also on top of that, I think people in California are upset, they're frustrated about the fact they're getting stuck in traffic all the time. They should be spending more time with their families at home rather than being stuck in traffic. So this will solve a lot of those problems. And now I would like to have uh, Secretary Sonny McPeak come out and say a few words, please. <laughs>